The Postmaster General of the United States is the Chief Executive Officer of the United States Postal Service, Megan Brennan is the current Postmaster General. Appointed members of the Board of Governors of the United States Postal Service select the Postmaster General and Deputy Postmaster General, who then join the Board. History The office, in one form or another, is older than both the United States Constitution and the United States Declaration of Independence. Benjamin Franklin was appointed by the Continental Congress as the first Postmaster General in 1775, serving just over 15 months. Until 1971, the Postmaster General was the head of the Post Office Department, or simply, Post Office, until the 1820s. During that era, the Postmaster General was appointed by the President of the United States, with the advice and consent of the United States Senate. From 1829 to 1971, the Postmaster General was a member of the President's Cabinet. The Cabinet post of Postmaster General was often given to a new President's campaign manager or other key political supporter, and was considered something of a sinecure. The Postmaster General was in charge of the governing party's patronage, and was a powerful position which held much influence within the party. In 1971, the Post Office Department was reorganized into the United States Postal Service, an independent agency of the executive branch. Therefore, the Postmaster General is no longer a member of the cabinet and is no longer in the line of presidential succession. The Postmaster General is now appointed by nine governors appointed by the President with the advice and consent of the Senate. The Governors, along with the Postmaster General and the Deputy Postmaster General, constitute the full Postal Service Board of Governors. The Postmaster General is the second highest paid U.S. government official, based on publicly available salary information, after the President of the United States. <laughs> Postmasters General under the Continental Congress Topic: Postmasters General over the U.S. Post Office Department, 1789 to 1971. Topic: As non-cabinet department, 1789 to 1829. Topic: As cabinet department, 1829 to 1971. Parties: No party. Federalist. Democratic Republican Democratic Whig Republican Topic Postmasters General over the US Postal Service 1971 present Note that while the above table indicates the president under which each postmaster general served these postmasters general were appointed by the governors of the postal service and not by the president Topic. Living former Postmasters General As of November 2017, there are four living former Postmasters General, the oldest being Anthony M. Frank 1988 born 1931. The most recent Postmaster General to die was Paul N. Carlin on April 25, 2018. The most recently serving Postmaster General to die was Marvin Travis Runyon on May 3, 2004. See also Postmaster General disambiguation John Henninger Reagan, the only Postmaster General of the Confederate States of America Notes External links Official site Papers of Arthur E. Summerfield, Postmaster General, 1953–1961, Dwight D. Eisenhower Presidential Library